Folks, it is time for yet again another Palantir stock update. We're going to break down the charts here, how it did today, key levels that I'm looking at, my thoughts overall, and maybe at the end of the video, we'll break down some other stocks. But of course, before we dive into it, don't forget to get your 16 free stocks from Moomoo. Each of those could be valued up to 2000 bucks, guys. Just use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. Open up your account and funnel with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks right off the bat and funnel with at least 1000 dollars you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks and listen to this guys if you fund it with at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks you also get a free share of either tesla stock or expedia which makes this promo a no-brainer so use that link down below and of course that is an affiliate link it helps out the channel i appreciate you all as always and with that being said guys cheers let's dive right into the video so you all can see palantir was pretty volatile today guys all over the place we opened up at around uh, let's see, 1650. Then we shot all the way up to 1686. Then we pulled back down to about 1650, actually under 1650. Then we started running into open or uh, close rather uh, to about 1665. Then after the bell, out of nowhere, we saw a little pop to 1670, followed by a drop down to 1645. That was a drop of around, uh, let me see here, percentage wise, about 1.7%. Really not that big of a deal. And and overall, Palantir stock today closed up 1.4%, up 23 cents, and it closed in the mid-16s. And what's really bullish, guys, is the fact that we took out by a mile the highs from yesterday. You guys can see if I pull the five-day, five-minute and zoom in a little bit, yesterday we peaked out at about 16.65, 16.70. That was in the morning. And today we got all the way up to around uh, 16.90 roughly. So we ran right through those highs from yesterday. And now if I show you you the price action in the last uh, from the last couple of days we're now starting to get to the highs from or at least one of the highs from two trading days ago which was on Friday being about 1675 to 1680 if I draw this line out you guys will see that is a big sticking point it has been for the past roughly two and a half days of trading and the way that I'm looking at this guys is if Palantir stock could break 1680 let me set my alert <clears throat> right there right now excuse me guys Guys, let me do that here. Mark is out. We're above 1680. If that point is able to break, we could probably fill the gap initially to 1750, which you guys can see that was the high from the beginning of the day, I believe on Friday. And that was also one of the highs from the 20th, which was what, Thursday? Yeah, that was on Thursday. So if we do crack above 1680, 17 bucks, I do think momentum could take us to 1750. Then if that were to break, we could be going even higher from there. I might as well set my alert at 1750, maybe 20 bucks, guys. No joke, could be in the cards if we start to break out of there. I mean, you all saw we hit 19 recently. So now let's see if momentum could start to turn back up to the upside because I'm not going to lie. On the 30 minute chart, we are seeing a death cross and we are under the main 180 moving average, which is not the best sign. Uh, but again, if we do start breaking 1680, 17, 1750, that's where we could start to, uh, you know, to break out above that moving average and then start making the shot again towards 19, maybe 20 bucks. I mean, you guys can see here 1750 again. That was the high from Friday or Thursday, whatever day that was. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I think Thursday. Um, yeah, actually, no, that was on Friday. And, you know, that was also the high from it looks like here on the 17th of July from, you know, roughly the high on the 13th of July as well. So it's been a big sticking point that needs to break right now. And based on the 20 day chart, the trend is still holding, even though we are under the moving averages on this time uh, time frame as well. Uh, but the trend is still holding. And clearly on the four hour chart, we're above the 180 SMA. And the fact that we are holding that at a higher low, now we're consolidating and starting to pop off of it. That makes the bullish case for Palantir in the short term even better. So, I mean, it all comes down to 1680, 17, 1750. And if that were to break again for the 10th time, we could be going up even more, guys. And let me pull up the 20 day chart and show you this. We actually have an inverse head and shoulders. Maybe I can show you on the five day chart. We can see this. Yeah, it's better on the five day. We can see right here. We have the left shoulder. Boom. We have the head right here and we also have the right shoulder right here. So we see that very, you know, tiny, teeny tiny inverse head and shoulders, but it is one 
nonetheless. And again, it all comes down to 17 bucks. If that breaks, the right shoulder in this inverse head and shoulders could be playing out. Keyword is could, guys. Nothing is guaranteed, of course, as always. And trade at your own risk. Please, guys, the stock market is very risky. Check out the disclaimer uh, down below. So, Palantir, pretty good day, but we just need a little bit more juice from the Bulls. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. You might as well hit that like button if you haven't done so already. And make sure to subscribe, guys. I don't know why, but for some reason, well, I guess it makes sense. When people here subscribe, they think, oh, I have to pay money, right? A dollar a month or five dollars, 20 bucks. No, guys, subscribing on YouTube is completely free, and most of you guys know that, but believe it or not, 65% of you are not subscribed, and I'm not saying all of you guys are not subscribed uh, because of the fact that you think it's it's not free, uh, but it is free, j j just in case you thought uh, that it wasn't, so do that. Make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 30,000 subs, guys, which is a big milestone, Then after that, we're going for 50, and the good old 100K plaque, guys. I will not stop until I get the 100K plaque. And even when I get the 100K plaque, I'm still not going to stop making YouTube videos, guys. So make sure you tag along for the journey. I appreciate you all. As always, you all are awesome. So let me see what else ended up moving today. It looks like Nucor ran up. I think they reported numbers now that I think about it. Um, I think they reported numbers this morning and their stock shot up 3.7, almost 4% on the day. Pretty good. And they did EPS looks like a 581, which beat the 553. That's awesome. And sales missed 9.52 billion versus 9.62 billion. So that's not the best sign. So pretty mixed bag earnings there uh, for Nucor. And it looks like here Nucor had 5.394, roughly a billion dollars in cash and cash equivalent, short-term investments and restricted cash and cash equivalents on hand at the Q2N, so that's not that bad. And overall, when it comes to the chart, guys, clearly we're reversing. We're above the moving averages. We have a golden cross, all that good stuff. And with today's 3.7% green day, we're taking out the highs from uh, the past couple of you know weeks, and we're starting to push towards that 180, 185 high, which you guys can see on new core here, ticker symbol NUE. That was the double top high from you know pretty much the beginning of uh, not, not September, February, heading into March, guys. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that one heading into that level. And let me see what red stocks went uh, or, or what stocks went down today. It looks like we had Nikola completely collapse. Might have to make a video on that, do an update. Uh, uh, looks like that's coming down a good amount, 14% red day. It looks like AMC today gave back a lot of the gains, 12.5% in the red. I might do an update on that one, maybe at some point tomorrow or maybe the next day. We'll see how that ends up playing out. Let me see what else ended up moving, guys. Let's see. Pinterest went down, Space, Virgin Galactic, SPC. Uh, but, yeah, either way, guys, I mean, look, we wanted to cover Palantir, or, or I did, we did that, and we covered some other names very quickly. We might as well wrap up the video. I don't want to keep it too long. I don't want to stretch it out too long. But all I ask is if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, and make sure to subscribe. Like I said, we're almost at 30,000 subs. And you might as well get your free money from Moomoo, guys. You might as well. Why not? Use that link down below. Open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks right off the bat. And fund it with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And listen to this, guys. If you fund your account with at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks you also get a free share of either tesla stock or expedia stock which is crazy it makes the deal a no-brainer so use that link down below or just go to stasserfest.com slash moomoo and of course full disclosure that is an affiliate link it's greatly appreciated if you use it and with that being said guys cheers i'll see you in the next video